Hi, I'm Peter Vogel, and this is a beginning guitar lesson covering the basics you need to know when you first start playing guitar. We'll briefly cover the essentials, and then you can click on the links in the annotations or about section of this video to view extended lessons on each subject. You can also visit FreeGuitarVideos.com or subscribe to our channel and learn about a wide variety of guitar techniques and tips. Some things you need to know to start. We need to know the strings. First of all, this string right here is string number six. It's the lowest string. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The way to remember that the easiest is that this is the biggest string, it's the biggest number. So six, five, four, three, two, one. They also have letter names. E, A, D, G, B, and E. E, A, D, G, B, E. If we go backwards, you can remember it by every boy gets dinner after eight. Now, to start tuning your guitar, one of the things you'll need to know is how these tuning pegs work, or tuners work. As I turn this way, the pitch goes higher. So I bring it back down, the pitch goes lower. When you're doing this, you really want to listen to the pitch while you're turning. So this way is going to go higher, this way is going to go lower. As we go down here, lower, and higher. So that's the job of the tuners, to raise or lower the pitch. If you really want to tune your guitar to start, you're going to want to get an electronic tuner that's going to make it a lot simpler for you. To hold on to the pick, what I want you to do is just hold it between your thumb and your index finger, right near the tip of that index finger. Don't use any of the other fingers to hold it so you don't get in a habit of that. So it's the thumb and the index about halfway down the pick. Pointy ends pointed towards the guitar. And then to play individual notes, you just go through your strings and practice doing that because we're going to need to be able to use that motion when playing scales, melodies, individual tones. Okay, so the strumming motion on a guitar involves from the elbow down, the arm going up and down, and a little bit of rotation of the wrist. We don't want the wrist to be tight like this, we want it to rotate a bit. We want to keep the strum short, so it's from the artwork to the artwork around your sound hole. Think of brushing the strings, not colliding with the strings. The frets on the guitar are these metal bars going across the neck. When we say the first fret, we really mean this first fret space right here, second fret space right here, here's the third fret space right here. When you're pressing down an individual note or string, I'm at the third fret, sixth string, you want to be towards the front of the fret, not towards the back of the fret. The front of the fret is going to be the easiest place to press and get a clean note. You want to press just hard enough to get a clean note. You don't want to press too light as it will sound fuzzy. And if I press back here in the fret, it's going to sound really fuzzy. So to the front, just hard enough to get a clean note and be able to do that on all your strings. Thumb placement on the back of the neck is really vital. We don't want it to be super high up here. We want it to be about halfway down the neck or lower and on the pad of the thumb, not on the tip of the thumb like this where my joint is bent, but on the pad of the thumb. It's generally behind the index finger or second finger. That'll be a good place to start. So halfway down the neck, not too high, don't grip the neck, and on the pad of the thumb. When reading the tablature staff, the lowest line of the staff represents the sixth string on the guitar. The next line represents the fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, and the first string is the highest line of the tablature staff. The numbers on those lines of the staff represent frets on the guitar. So the first zero you're seeing is the open sixth string. The three on the sixth string is the third fret sixth string. The zero on the fifth string is the open fifth string. 
the two is the second fret fifth string, the zero on the fourth string is the open fourth string, the two is the second fret fourth string, the zero on the third string is the open third string, then the two is the second fret. I think you see how this is going now. The zero on the second string is the open second string, then the three is the third fret second string, the zero on the first string or first line of the tablature staff is the open first string, and then the third fret first string. So what we have when we read all this is the E minor pentatonic scale. When looking at the chord diagram, the horizontal lines represent the frets on the guitar. So it's just like the neck. The vertical lines represent the strings. So on the far left is the sixth string, then the fifth, fourth, third, second, and when you get to the far right, it's the first string. So horizontal lines are frets, vertical lines are strings. The circles are representing where to put fingers on the guitar. So when looking at the E minor chord, the first finger, the number one, is on the fifth string and it's in the second fret. The second finger is on the fourth string and it's in the second fret. So once I place those fingers and I strum all the strings, I have an E minor chord. As I mentioned before, this is just a brief look at how to play guitar. You can go to freeguitarvideos.com or subscribe to this channel and watch extended lessons on each of these topics. This should get you started on your way to learning how to play guitar. My name is Peter Vogel and I will see you again soon.